What's up, man? This is one of our caracals here. His name is Cyrus. And he's just kind of chilling right now. Can't see him too well. Oh, looks like he actually might come out and say hello. That was the most amazing little noise. <laughs> I really hope this one yeah. So I have just got to Big Cat. And I'm checking on Max because he's in the hospital. How you doing, Max? Are you feeling all right? He's like, I want to get out of here. He's actually in here because he was limping. And he's on meds for that, but he should be going back out soon. But a little bit later, I'll be feeding him, giving him his meds, and then probably cleaning this out. Just so it's all nice for him. All right, see you, Max. Is that some good food, Frost? And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new camera, because this thing should be looking really good. Should also sound pretty good as well. Yeah, isn't that right, Frost? But I just dropped him in some uh, some tilapia with sardines on top, which is on your right, and then some pork as well. And it's about 11 ounces or so, so hopefully he'll eat all that. But all right, Frost, I will leave you to that, and I will see you in a bit. So I did just pop in a chick for Max, as you can see that kind of sitting next to him. And that does have his meds in there, so I'm just hoping that he's going to eat that. And then once he does, I'm just going to pop in his food, and then hopefully as well he'll eat that. But he's being a bit picky today, or for the past couple days. He's definitely not happy to be in the hospital. But he was limping, and we need him to get better. So hopefully he'll be out of there soon. You do have to eat that chick though, Max. you got to eat that. So it looks like Frosty has eaten the majority of his food, pretty much just the fish and the tilapia. It looks like he left the pork, but I think he is. Yeah, he is. Just snoozing in there at the moment. How was your breakfast, bud? But I am going to pick that up, log it, see how much he actually ate, and then we'll feed him again tonight when he gets meds again. And I think I just saw perfection over here. We are currently out feeding right now, so morning routes are going out. They're feeding all the cats. I'm not sure if the front route has already gotten here to feed the cats yet, but they could have. Hi, Perf. How are you? How you doing, Perfection? Are you doing good? Let me know if you just hear a growl right there. <laughs> She's like, you got food? I don't. I'm sorry. But yeah, this camera should make everything a lot smoother now, and the quality should be a lot better. So let me know what you guys think. Hi, Miss Perf. She's like, did you put the food in? I did not. All right, I'll see you, Perf. And we do have a couple bobcats over here that are waiting for food. We have Andy right here. I'm not sure if she's ever been on the channel, but she's a bobcat, as you can see. She's also a little old girl. <laughs> she's like, I'm out of here. But food is coming for her. And then as well, I think I just saw Breezy over here. Not sure where she went. Hey, Breeze. Breezy. Oh, I see her over there. Breezy Bob. She's like doing some morning laps over there. Can you see her that far away? Hey, Breezy. All right, I'm gonna go though. And hopefully she'll end up eating when the feeders come. And as I said that, of course, Breezy did just end up spotting me. So now she's coming over. Hi, Miss Breeze. How you doing? Yeah, you doing good? Food is coming, I promise. So I did just call, get called out to Chaos, one of our caracals, because she did not want to eat her rat this morning. Hi, Chaos. How you doing? But yeah, as you can see, for food this morning, she did get two little rats right there for our whole prey. But she was just not having it. But she seems fine. She seems hissy. <laughs> as you can see, right on cue. Thank you. But normally she likes them. Not sure why she's not eating them right now. But we're just going to leave them there for a bit. If she decides not to eat it, we'll just pick it up, log it, probably feed her something a little bit later. But I'm hoping she's going to eat that. So Max is still being a bit of a stubborn one. I changed his meds and put in some of those turkey pieces there. So I'm hoping he's going to eat that. He did not want his chick. We are still waiting for him to take that and eat his meds before we give him the rest of his food. We did also open up that door to the outside. So he's got some fresh air in here. But me and Catherine are going to head over to Max Marion's cage, work on that, finish it up. 
So I'm assuming you can hear me. I don't think the truck is that loud as we're going, but I'm sitting on the back of the blue truck right now. Uh, we did just clean up Max Marion's enclosure, which we're going to be passing in a moment. You can see it over here. We just cleaned that so it looks all nice. You can see all the stuff we pulled out of there. We're going to head back into food prep, dump all that, and then hopefully ship Marianne out of Funcation back to her enclosure. So I did just get back over to the hospital. As you can see, I've got some food right there. I've got some ground turkey and then cat food. Max did not want to take his meds this morning, and he really just doesn't want to eat anything. So we're kind of just giving him whatever, hoping, hopefully he is going to want to eat this. So it's about five ounces or so. But yeah, you can see Max is still chilling, still chilling there. Hi, bud. But I do need to clean this side, so I'm going to put the food over on that clean side over there that I cleaned a little bit earlier. And then hopefully he's going to want to switch in there and then eat as well. But we are going to try his meds later tonight, and then hopefully he'll get them then. And then as you can see, he's got his ground turkey there on the left, cat food on the right. And I just popped that into the hospital cage that he's sitting in, and he is still chilling back there. So hopefully he'll make his way over here soon enough. But I'm just going to leave him in here, leave him to that, hopefully he'll eat it. And I'll come check on him in, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Alright, see you Max. So I did just take this sheet off right here, in hopes that Max would shift over there because <laughs> like i said i did put the food in there and it is nice and clean and i would like to clean this side uh currently Catherine is trying to catch marianne and lock out and once she does then we'll be putting her back home but max it doesn't look like he's gonna be going home for a couple of days at least um he still needs to recover in here from his limp but hopefully uh it'll be soon enough because he definitely is not enjoying his time in here he wants to get out he wants to go run around that's for sure but I'm just trying to get him to shift, and then hopefully I'll be able to clean his area. Isn't that right, Mr. Max? He's like, go away. <laughs> I did just get him to shift. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's totally growling. Not happy, as I just said. But now your other side gets to get cleaned. And he has really not touched that food. And again, it's some ground turkey and cat food, so he should really enjoy that. Cat food is like, I don't know, candy to us, I guess. It's really good stuff to them. But he's just not having it. He just wants to go outside. I'm sorry, bud. So as you can see, Max is now back on this side. And this whole area is now clean now. So he's got all clean linens in there, which is good. He still hasn't touched that food, though, even when he was locked in that side, which is kind of unfortunate. But hopefully he'll eat that eventually. So there are going to be a couple cats I am feeding. Right now I am heading over to Zucari. Uh, Zucari did not eat this morning because we actually were going to try and shift him over to Funcation, but since we couldn't catch Marianne and get her out of there, um, we're just going to feed him now and then hopefully shift him maybe tomorrow. And then I'm also going to be heading over to Chaos because like I said before, she didn't want to eat her rats this morning and hopefully she'll want to eat what I have for her now. If she doesn't eat, that's definitely strange and she's probably not feeling well, but my guess is she's probably going to eat. She just didn't want to eat the rats, but let's go see. So I did just drop Zucari in, some chicken necks and some mush, but as you can see, he is just chowing away, no problem. I already ate his chicken necks, and now he's feasting on the mush. And again, let me know what you guys think of this video. It should look so much better. Hopefully it sounds better, um, but this should definitely be an upgrade than what it previously was. That is for sure. What you looking at, Zucari? What you looking at? All right, I'll see you later, bud. So I am heading over to Zucari right now. Or sorry, not Zucari, I was just at Zucari. And Zucari ate everything, which is good. But now I am heading over to Chaos. And she is one of our caracals. She's, she's a very cool cat. Um, and like I said, hopefully she's gonna wanna eat, but let's go see. So I just dropped the mush in for Chaos. And as you can see, she came running right in. But she's gonna eat that. Like I said, she's gonna eat that, no problem. I'm assuming she just didn't want a rat this morning for whatever reason. Just wasn't feeling it. And that meowing you hear, that's Beecher over there. He'll get a snack a little bit later in the day. Beecher is really chatting over there. He's showing you up, Chaos. He's showing you up. Look at those ears, though. Super cool. 
We believe those little tufts on their ears are actually used to sense wind direction so that when they, these caracals are hunting out in the wild, they can always be downwind of their prey so that the wind doesn't carry their scent to their prey and, you know, give them away. So even those little fluffy ears that look really cool actually have a use. All right, core chaos. See ya. So right now I am out doing the PM supplements. I actually just got to Apollo. He's behind me over there. And that's going to be kind of something new or something I typically don't do in my videos just because typically I have another volunteer do it when it's my coordinating day. But even though I am coordinating, we're pretty low on volunteers today. So I am taking on that. And then I'll also be doing meds a little bit later today. Um, not sure if I'm going to put the meds video in today's video. Might be in the next day's video, depending on how long this one is, I guess. But right now I am doing the PM supplements at Apollo. And we're going to get started. Hi, Apollo. He's always very excited for his supplements. As you can see, he is running. Hi, bud. Are you ready? Are you ready for treats? You want to come over here? You want to come over here, bud? Come over here. No? You don't want to come over here? Okay, one sec, Apollo. Come here. Come on, Apollo. Come over here. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come on, Apollo. I need you to come out of lockout. Maybe if I get him to, maybe if I walk over here, he'll come. I need him to come out of lockout for a moment. Come over here. And then hopefully he'll eat a supplement. And look at that. No problemo. Alright, good work, Apollo. So I am now at Pharaoh, our white serval, and he's gonna be next. I'm just gonna pop the chicken right there. And hopefully he'll eat that no problem. I promise it's a good chick, bud. You want it. Oh man, I think you bit into it. But hopefully he'll eat it anyway. All right. Good job, Farrell. Thanks. And I do have an extra chick body that I just popped in there, and as you can see, Gilligan's coming over. He's like, what is that? I normally don't get chicks. I promise it's good, Gil. Want you back away? That's what he wants. He's like, get away from me. <laughs> and he's taking it. There's no meds or supplement in that. But when we do the supplements, we only use the heads. So the bodies we like to feed out. So Gilligan gets an extra treat today. All right. See you, Gil. And he is a Canadian Lynx, in case you were curious. And let's watch Zukari run. He loves to run in his enclosure. I think on the main page of the Big Cat, there's actually a video of this, or actually I know there is, because I'm the one that drove the golf cart in that video, if you saw it. But he loves to run and show off how big his enclosure is, because he definitely has a massive one. But I am now at Servi, so now let's go to her. So I did just pop that chick in there for Servi, or the chick head that is. And hopefully she eats that no problem, doesn't find the supplement. That's always the goal. And look at that, she did it. Nice work, serve. Thank you. And since Crazy Zucari over here decided to show us, his, show us his run, I'll give him an extra treat. So I'll just toss that chick in there. Oh, are you gonna be able to get that? He kinda bopped him. He kinda bopped the chick and it fell in there. Are you gonna be able to get it or do I have to get it? Oh, you can do it. You're a big boy, you got it. He's like, yeah, I am. All right, nice job, Zukari. Thank you. And look at this, Zukari is chasing me back. This guy loves to run. But with this new camera I got, this should be a super smooth shot. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. So let me know what you think of that. Let me know how smooth that is. It should look super nice. All right. See you, Zakari. So I did just pop in Running Bear's supplement right here in his lockout. So hopefully he'll eat that. It's right in front of you, bud. You see it? It's right there. Boop. Pretend to drop it in again. See, Sniff? Use that nose. It's in there. He's like, what the heck? Bud, I promise it's in there. It's right in front of you. Maybe if I stand over here. Bud, you gotta get that. Back away. 
Yeah, I just don't think he realizes it's in there. Maybe if I drop a leaf in, he'll realize. It's not, you're, you're almost standing on it, bud. That paw right there, you're standing on it. Sniff, there you go. Nice job, RB. You did a great job. I'll see you later. Nice little growl. <laughs> hey, Breezy. Give her a little stomp on the ground. Hi, Breeze. I got treats. You want some treats? Come on, Breezy. Look, I got food. Come to lockout, okay? You gotta come to lockout. She's like, I'm coming, dude. Give me a second. I'm waking up. All right, Breeze. Come to lockout, okay? Come this way. I'm just gonna pop that treat in there, which is her supplement. And then hopefully, she'll just lick that right up, no problem. Just like that. All right. Good work, Miss Breezy Bobcat. You did a wonderful job. I'll see you later. Now my guess is you're probably not gonna be able to see her in there. But Andy, our little bobcat, is in there. And I'm hoping she's gonna want her supplement. My stick actually isn't long enough though, so I'm just gonna have to leave it there, and hopefully she'll eat it. So that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys all did enjoy. I'm honestly super pumped to upload this because the quality of this video just, it's crazy. I mean, I'm sure. You're, you're looking at it right now. This quality is so good on this camera. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket. Thank you, Mom and Dad, Christmas, you know. But it's so good. I'm so excited to be recording with this thing. And then once I get a mount, it's gonna be even better. But if you did make it to the end of the video, definitely give me a like. Hit that like button for me. That would be awesome. What do you think? Can we hit 200 likes for this crazy camera quality? I think we usually hit around 160 likes or so. So hey, hit that like button because this, this quality is great and it should just be getting better from here. But again, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Make sure it says subscribed. Also click on that bell next to that button to turn on those post notifications just so you don't miss any videos. Also, Daisy. Thank you for watching. You are going to be our positive comment or just kind of shout out for today's video. If you do want to get in on those shout outs, just leave a nice comment down below or follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do shout outs for those as well. Again, thank you for making it to the end and I hope to see you all in the next one. And there's even a lizard right there in the bowl. Can you see that? Or it's not in there, but it's sitting next to her. She doesn't even care. I wonder if she even notices. Can you see it? <laughs> there it is.